solving the Xbox 360 C access problem. So I believe you may not use the same term as mine, so I will demonstrate what is the C problem. See as I pressing the triggers, the C axis moves, but I press simultaneously, it doesn't move. This is the Z axis problem. Now let's see my new little app can solve this problem. After you run this app, there is a new virtual controller which can use the Z axis without problem. So first you need a program called VJoy. So you just download this virtual joystick and install it. The VJoy actually does nothing to end the user. It's just like a platform. It requires a developer to make a app to make user avoid. Believe or not, I Learn the C++ just for making this app. Now let's install the video you just download. Actually, you don't need to install all of them. You just need to install the configurator. So click the things you don't want. And press next. After install, reboot as required. After reboot, launch the VJoy configurator. And here, all the tabs represent a virtual joystick. Actually, you only need one, so make sure other joysticks are disabled and then you will use the number one or you can use number two but you need to remember you are using ID number two then make number one the number one joystick have two sliders and cancel all the axis all the buttons button zero disable all the features you just need two sliders after this click apply Okay, after you apply, there is a virtual joystick created in your system. But unfortunately, the joystick do nothing for you. You need a app to make it do things for you. Okay, let's check your installation is okay. So you have two joysticks. One is the Xbox One, another is the VJoy, and the VJoy need to have two sliders, but currently you have no control over these two sliders. Then the original Xbox, which have only one Z axis. So now you need to change the gamepad order. I suggest you put the VJoy into the preferred one, so you make VJoy uh, become controller number one. Now, now open my little app, which make VJoy work for you, and you choose mode zero. After that, uh, the little app will ask which VJoy you are using, you are using VJoy number one, right? It will check, it will have two sliders. Then it will ask which Xbox controller you are using. If the upper left 
LED ring lights up so it's controller 1 if the upper right LED ring lights up so it's controller 2 Now with the little app up and running, let's test out the V controller. So now it's working. But there is another problem. Actually when you press the triggers, you are pressing two controllers, which is uh, the old one, the real one, and uh, another, the virtual one. So this will confuse the game. So when you want to assign, for example, the right trigger to the gas tab or acceleration. So what can you do? So I create the mode 1 and then mode 2, which will automatically press the left or right triggers for you. Now let's run this app with mode 1, which will automatically pressing the left trigger. So without the real one, it's also pressing. If you run mode 2, it will automatically pressing the right trigger. Now let's fire up your game and assign this right trigger to a game function. So I usually assign right trigger to uh, acceleration. And beware, uh, there's a 50% chance uh, your assign will be inverted. So assign multiple times and make sure your assign the axis is not inverted. Okay, let's reopen the app again and run another mode for pressing the left trigger. Let's assign the left trigger to braking. Again, assign multiple times to make sure your assigned axis is not inverted. Uh, if you don't know, you can only be told uh, in the game. Basically, the game actually told you uh, the axis is direction, so it's use half of the axis or use full axis. You can see the arrow is a long arrow or half arrow. Now let's close the app and run the app in mode 0. So let's assign the rest of the function uh, with the real gamepad. See the real gamepad actually is joystick 2 and the virtual one is joystick 1. So don't forget to apply some dead zone to your axis. Uh, for a reasonable dead zone, I suggest there is a 5% in the center of the axis. So actually this is overlapping, you cannot see, but I'm actually adjusting the x-axis. I can ignore the z-axis, actually I'm not using it.
Okay, now let's run again. I have a test. Three, two, one, go! So the acceleration is okay, but the braking is inverted. So what is inverted is when I press the left trigger, it stops braking. If I release the trigger, it's, it's braking. So what we need to do is to rerun the program in mode 1. So let's go into the game and reassign uh, the braking axis, aka the left trigger. And make sure this time uh, you flip the direction of the arrow. Now you can see the braking arrow is towards up. Now you flip it towards down. And make sure it's towards down, so I click again. Now rerun the app in mode 0. Choose your virtual device and choose your real device and run the game. Three, two, one, go. Now I wonder why my braking light is always up. Actually, the brake works uh, it can be the dead zone so the virtual device the minimum number of uh, not pressing any button it's actually have a very tiny little bit value so actually the car have very tiny a little bit brake uh, you move the dead zone actually 1% is enough so I can apply 1% at the very end ok, plus 2% is uh, also ok let's try 2% ok, yes yes, now work. Release the button, no braking, press the button, it's braking. Uh, but I think I need to change back to 1%. I will change back to 